Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Um, in this video I'm going to discuss the newly released iPod Touch 6th generation and uh, why I think it was a very bad move for Apple to uh, move forward with their iPod line in this way. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who do not know, the iPod Touch 6th generation was released without Keynote um, in a very kind of a um, anticlimactic release after about three years of waiting for the newest iPod Touch. Now, the iPod Touch 5th generation, which I have here, and I know it's smashed up, but um, this has the A5 processor and a half a gigabyte of RAM, uh, which is more or less equivalent to the iPhone 4S, and it does not run well at all, uh, especially considering I'm running the iOS 9 beta on here. So, um, it does not run very well at all, but the iPod Touch 6th generation is supposedly up to six times faster than this with the new uh, A8 chip, excuse me. Uh, it has a new uh, rear shooter, an 8 megapixel camera in the back as opposed to a 5 megapixel camera, and uh, it comes in new colors now. So, I believe it maintains the same space gray, um, and then they have a new revised blue and pink and gold. And um, all of the other iPods, now this is where my problem lies with the other iPods. Let me just get this out of the way. All they've done is change the colors. So they have not added any functionality uh, or usability or any, any aspect of the other iPods that many people would like to see change, such as a, um, a more efficient or larger battery or a higher quality screen really anything that could be improved was not improved and all they did was change the colors after about uh, four, three years, excuse me, of waiting. Uh, that I think is a very bad move on Apple's part. I think that's a very odd thing to do and I don't see the reason behind it because with there only being new colors uh, in the other iPod line, no one is going to have the iPod Touch uh, 7th Gen and then go and say, oh, I should go and get uh, uh, 7th Gen in, in gold because they came out with the gold one. 99.9% uh, .9 of people uh, either don't have the money or the uh, will to go and buy uh, a new iPod for the sake of it being another color. Uh, but let me get into the iPod Touch here. What they did is they gave it the new A8 chip, a uh, better camera in the back, better graphics, and they maintained the same exact screen and form factor of the previous iPod Touch. And um, I'm a little surprised. I think that the form factor for the iPod Touch 5th generation is very comfortable. What I would like to have seen though is for it to be widened slightly because when I use this, um, it it seems a little too too long, just a little too long, and I believe making it slightly wider would make that a much more proportionate device to use and a much more comfortable screen to look at and to use and much better to watch videos on as well. But um, the Apple Touch 6th generation maintains the same screen size and um, all they've done is they have changed the color and um, put, given it new internals. But other than that, it's exactly the same. So, why I believe this is a bad move for Apple. Now, Apple has uh, been keeping a lot of people in suspense for the past three years about their iPod Touch line. So, now that they've released the newest iPod Touch, uh, it's not going to attract as many buyers as, say, the release of the fifth generation uh, as opposed to the fourth generation because um, they have only bumped the internals. So, in my opinion, with the way that Apple is going, this should not be called the iPod Touch 6th generation. This should be called the iPod Touch 5S because this really is only a bump in internal specs, which is a uh, trademark or a hallmark of what they do in the S models. They bump the internals, they give it better chips, uh, some better internal hardware, sometimes better cameras, and then they keep the uh, exact same form factor uh, with added functionality and performance. But 
This iPod really doesn't have any added functionality to it. It just has a performance upgrade in both its hardware and software, but uh, not really any hard external hardware upgrades. I would have really liked to see Touch ID in the iPod Touch 6th generation, considering it's been out for about a year and a half now, um, if not two years, uh, which I, I see no reason to not have Touch ID, uh, except for the fact that uh, the iPod Touch 5 may just be too thin to use Touch ID, uh, but now that I think about it, they use it in the iPod, uh, iPad Airs, so that line of reasoning doesn't really make sense. So I don't see any reason that they should not have had the Touch ID in the iPod Touch 6th generation. But if I just go to tech specs here, you could see that you have space gray, gold, silver, pink, blue, and the product red that's on all of the iPods. One thing I am uh, very excited about is that they now have a 128 gigabyte capacity on the newest iPod model, which is uh, extremely um, satisfying to me because I've been using the 16 gig fifth gen for a while, and it's co I'm constantly having to delete other applications or photos because that is just not a sufficient amount of space. And I did previously own a 64 gigabyte version right after they came out and um, that wasn't sufficient either because I have a lot of music and video on my iPod uh, for when I'm trying to take video uh, on the go and I have about uh, 40 gigs of music so the 128 gigabyte model is going to be more than sufficient for me at least uh, to be able to use it also um, it has double the RAM, which increases the performance of the RAM twice, twofold. So, in simple terms, I believe that Apple could have done a much more uh, impressive release of the iPod Touch 6th generation by including either Touch ID, a better quality screen, or any kind of new hardware attribute on the external uh, part of the device. They actually did remove something, which is the iPod Touch Loop, uh, but I believe that was a good decision, uh, given that they used that extra space to do something with it, because I never really saw anyone using it, and I myself have never used it. Uh, I just didn't find it a very functional thing for me to do. Uh, but I believe that Apple could have done much better if they added some new hardware features to this iPod Touch. It still has the same Retina orange display. They could have at least put in their newly uh, released for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus Retina HD displays, which would have given it at least a small edge uh, to other media players that have better screens or just an Android phone, uh, because it's kind of hard to watch a movie on a four-inch screen. So. I would not recommend this for anyone who watches a lot of Netflix on the go because it is not a great screen to watch it with. But Apple has done a great job in uh, boosting the performance level of this device uh, to a very, very high level of performance, at least in relation to this iPod Touch. It's about six times faster as Geekbench tests have shown, and I think it's going to succeed but not as well as its predecessor did. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, share this to your social media feed, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, or elsewhere, if you enjoyed it enough so that other people can see it. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate you watching. Peace out.